Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is just a short one, and it's just to tell you that an OpenXR update is available now to download. And to get the update, all you need to do is go into the Microsoft Store and click on Downloads and Updates, and there you'll see the OpenXR update ready for download. Just run the download and installer, and it's ready to go. Here you can see the runtime version is 108.2109.1009. And here you can see I've got the latest preview OpenXR runtime turned on and the custom render scale set to 100% with motion reprojection disabled as always. As you can see, it's running really well. I'm really happy with the performance I'm getting. It's really smooth, really clear, just like we want. As always, I highly recommend updating your software for the best performance possible. I do think this OpenXR version runs really well with the latest NVIDIA driver 471.96, so I highly recommend downloading both of these and updating them if you haven't done so already. What I'm noticing the most is the clarity and the smoothness within the cockpit as well as outside. As I move my head around, I'm getting absolutely zero micro stutters, and you can see the definition on the mountains here in Switzerland, how vivid and clear everything is. With motion reprojection turned off, everything looks so much more clear and precise. And you can really see the detail of the rocks and crevices on the mountains here. And here are my latest VR settings. They are the same as the last video I released, but I'll just show you them anyway. You've got the render scaling set to 85, the anti-aliasing set to TAA, terrain level of detail is 125, terrain vector data is ultra, buildings are set at high, trees are set at high, grass and bushes are set at high, objects level of detail are set at 125, Volumetric clouds at high, texture resolution at ultra, anisotropic filtering at 16 times, texture supersampling at 8 times 8, texture synthesis at ultra, water waves at high, shadow maps at 1536, terrain shadows at 1024, contact shadows at high, windshield effects at high, ambient occlusion at off, reflections at high, light shafts at medium, bloom is off and glass cockpit refresh rate is set to high. Anyway guys, that was just a short video to let you know the OpenXR update is now available and I highly recommend downloading it and installing it. I'd be keen to hear your feedback about the latest OpenXR update, so please let me know in the comments section below. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.